me. Commander, hey, <laughs> just wondering if uh, you could help settle a dispute that my crew and I seem to be having. Um, if you remember uh, in Quasar Dilemma... Excuse me this... for a minute, fellas. I hadn't even gotten to the relevant conundrum. Hey, Commander, uh, so, as I was saying, uh, in the Quasar Dilemma, remember you used the auxiliary of deck B for, could you get the deck B for Gamma Override? The thing is, is that online blueprints clearly indicate that deck B is independent of the guidance matrix. So, we were wondering just where the error lies in that. It's just a television show, that's all, okay? <laughs> right, but, because we were wondering if the quantum flux, and I just listen on this. There, there I... is no quantum flux. There's no auxiliary. There's no goddamn ship. You got it? Oh. Oh. No, 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 you've got it all. Yeah, it, it, it was found in the Omega-13. Oh, my, okay. my apologies. <laughs> You know, evidently we had a little miscommunication regarding voyage. Did you didn't show up. You did it again. I don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor, and unless you took a learning annex course I don't know about, I'm pretty sure you don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor either. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. But I know someone who does. Brendan, honey, I'm garbage. Oh, mother, I'm quite busy. Come on, Brandon, don't make me ask you again. <sighs> now, just ten more minutes, okay, Ma? I promise. Hello? Anybody there? Hello? Hello? Got him. Listen to me. This is Jason Nesmith. I play. Commander Peter Quincy Taggart of NSEA Protector. We accidentally traded boxes the other day when we bumped into each other. Oh. Brandon, I remember you from the convention, right? You asked all those little technical questions about the ship, and I was a little short with you. Yes, yes, I, I know, Commander, and uh, I actually want to... Just wanted to tell you that I, I thought a lot about what you said. It's okay, now listen. But, but I want you to know that I'm not a complete brain case, okay? I understand completely that it's just a TV show. Wait, oh, hold on. I know there's no Wait a minute. Sphere, stop, stop no for a second. Stop. Wait. No ship. It's all real. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> the crew and I are in a lot of trouble and we need your help. We're level C hallway five. Now what? Um, go to weapons storage. Your second left through the passage. Now that leads to a system of utility corridors through the bowels of the ship. Open. You know what, I'm gonna get Kyle. He knows the utility tunnel system better than anybody alive. Hi, Brandon. No time for pleasantries, Kyle. We have a level five emergency. You still got the utility systems walkthrough, right? Yeah, I've got sectors one through 28. I think Hollister has the upper levels. Great, we'll get everybody online. All right, Brandon, I see five ducks in this room. Which way do we go? Enter the passage second to your left and just continue straight for 50 meters. Ducks. Why is it always ducks? Uh, there will be a... Slight drop. Thanks for the heads up, Brandon. You okay? Wait a minute, we gotta go across this thing? Yes. Well, don't look down. Commander, what I give to see what you're seeing. What are you talking about? You're deep in the underbelly of the Omega 13. <laughs> What does the Omega-13 device do? Uh, many happen to believe that it is a matter collapser. A bomb capable of destroying pretty much everything in about 13 seconds. But myself and others are convinced that what it is is a matter rearranger, affecting a 13-second time jump to the past. Well, why 13 seconds? That's really not enough time to do anything of any importance. It'd be time to redeem a single mistake. All right, Brandon, we're across. Now what? If you want to... Take a left and then just straight on through the chompers. The chompers? Well, screw that! How are we supposed to get through this? Hollister, do you have the sequence yet? Okay. The sequence is 
two, two, four, two, three. What two, is this two, thing? Okay, Commander, now as soon as the first crusher hits you, ah! tell me. Just did. Okay, go now. Go! Ah! Go! Ah! Okay, just push the blue button. The blue button. Is that it? Yeah, why? What's wrong? Not that I just thought it'd be more complicated than that. Brandon, it's not working. Brandon! Mother, I cannot stress enough the severity of the commander's Don't predicament. Don't the recyclables! Core implosion estimated in 10 seconds. Stops at one on the show. <laughs> this is the third day of the Galaxy Con, and Jason Nesmith and his entire crew are no shows here at the big event. Plus, to the disappointment of all of these fans, known as Quest. Bye, be back soon. Well, hey, Brandon, where are you going with all those fireworks? Well, the protector got super accelerated coming out of the black hole, and it's like nailed the atmosphere at Mark 15, which. You guys know it's pretty unstable, obviously, so we're gonna help Laredo guide it on the Vox Ultra Frequency Carrier and use Roman candles for visual confirmation. All right, all right, dinner's at seven. Back to you, Marsha. Thank you. Woo!